Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and today I'm here to tell you why CCA wire is better than OFC. Or am I? I don't know. We're gonna do some tests today. We're gonna compare OFC to CCA right alongside each other. We'll see what the difference is, advantages, disadvantages, all that stuff, and then we're gonna check my long-term CCA test in the Hi-Fi Hyundai. You guys know and have clowned me endlessly about it, so we're gonna check it out, see what it looks like, you know, see if we have any denigration. And uh, yeah, I think we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's just jump straight into the, uh, to the testing. I'll set up and I'll show you guys, you know, kind of what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do this, and all that sort of jazz. Here are the two contenders. We have OFC in the left corner. We have CCA in the right corner. These happen to be two different brands, but that doesn't matter. I picked them because they have the same size. They are standard American wire gauge, four gauge right here. This picture illustrates that a little bit better. Why I say the brands don't matter is because they are exactly the same size. And this happens to be New Concepts wire fantastic wire don't judge your wire off this cca comparison because they make fantastic ofc wires they're matter of fact they are some of my very favorite wire um i usually jump straight to them when i need to make a purchase so check out new concepts they're not a sponsor of this obviously but uh i just like their wire and then this wire is kicker ofc and uh they're the same size so for the main power run I will be doing a 15 foot and three inch run. These both are 15 foot exactly and three inches. Now in this comparison, I didn't mention this before, but everything will be OFC. So the ground, the uh, ground here, the power wire and the speaker cable will all be OFC and we're the same over here. So 15 foot, three inches on the power, three foot exactly for the ground. We have both of them cut and three foot exactly for the speaker wire the only difference is this is 12 gauge cca and right now i'm out of 12 gauge so i've got some 14 gauge ofc so the cca should technically have a bit of advantage uh when it comes to speaker wire although it's a it's a short run so it shouldn't matter three foot but i'm going to hook these up to the Pioneer 9701. You guys know I really like this amp for under $200. The Really, the only downside to this amp is it is inefficient. So I think this will be a great amp to test this wire on. I will run the wire from the amp out to my floor here and then back up to the power. So we have the full 15 uh, foot length. And then we can test for heat. We can test for power to see how much power we gain or lose, you know, one versus the other. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll about cover it. Let me get this set up, and then we'll come back. We'll see what it does. I think maybe we'll start with CCA first. We'll see what that does, and then we'll hook up all the OFC and see what that does. Before we get into testing, I kind of want to run you guys through this setup. So everything here outside of this wire right here which is the remote wire is cca this is ofc but that doesn't matter that just turns it on so we have cca three foot ground here we have a 15 foot power and then we have three foot of speaker wire the first thing i'm going to do is a simple dyno run we will check it out you know cold and see what it does on the dyno We'll do the same with the OFC. After I do that, I'm gonna run it for one minute on a sine wave at one ohm, and we will see what kind of heat we generate in this uh, in this wire here, as well as checking out how much power we're losing, gaining, whatever. We'll, we'll do the real-time uh, power on that. And then we'll do everything the same exact way with the OFC, and we'll come back and you know compare and see what kind of differences we had. And just to show you the wire situation here, <laughs> I do have the wire run and looped all the way around here. We are ready to test this. Let's start with the cold dyno. We'll see what power it does 
and then we'll go to the one minute, you know, kind of torture test. For the dyno portion, we're going to use a 40 hertz track. It's going to be at one ohms mono, and we're going to do this before we start the uh, one minute test, and it'll be exactly the same on both amps. With the CCA, we got 1,011 watts at 13.06 volts, pulled 37.6 amps, making it around 56% efficient. Before we run it for one minute straight, let's check the temperatures, make sure everything's cool. And uh, you know, we're around 78, 79 on the wire itself, and then 84, 85 on the amp itself. We're ready to run. Uh, let's get straight into the one minute test. As you watch this live, I wanna walk you guys through the results that I got on this one minute test. Now the peak power that we've seen was 999 watts. The lowest power that you will see is 632 watts. The lowest voltage you will see is 13.16 volts. The wire temp averaged around, you know, the highest I seen was 88.1. The average current was roughly 107. You are going to see a few random drops like this. I think it's something to do with the sine wave track that I'm using uh, with the SMD disc because it did this on the OFC and the CCA exactly the same. So uh, it's not going to skew our results any. And on this run, the hottest temperature that I seen on the amp itself was 122.9 degrees. So uh, that's it. That's the results for this. We'll continue uh, with the one minute viewing so you guys can kind of see it in real time. And then uh, we'll get to the OFC. Now I'm set up with the OFC. I've got the power and ground, everything hooked up exactly the same. It is ran on the floor exactly the same. And we'll start with the dyno exactly like we did with the CCA. We'll see what power we get there and then we'll do the one minute test and see if we have much difference at all, a big difference, whatever it may be, we will see. One thing I want to mention that I did not mention before is on the head unit, I'm turning the volume up to 49, just like it was set before, and that's just before it starts to clip. So everything's going to be exactly the same. The temperature on the amp is back down. I've waited around 45 minutes to let the temperature drop on the amp again. So we're at 88, 89 degrees. The wire is at you know 78, 77. With the OFC, we ended up with 1,085 watts, 13.49 volts, pulled 144.7 amps, leaving us 55% efficient. As we watch the one minute test on the OFC, I'm gonna go ahead and read you the results that I got of the test. The peak power that we've seen is 1036 watts the lowest power that i seen was 635 watts the lowest voltage that i seen was 13.59 volts the highest wire temp that i seen was 85.8 degrees the average current pull was around 101 amps and the hottest amp temperature that i seen was 124.1 so i'll let you finish out the rest of this one minute test in real time
it is time to check on the CCA wire. It has been a little over four months since this has been put in. So let's check on it. Let's see, you know, what the wire looks like. I don't expect it to be much different. So let me set my camera up and uh, let me show you guys what this looks like. All right, it's the moment of truth. The wire looks absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it at all at this point. It's been four months. Of course, we will uh, we'll keep checking on it. And uh, we'll let you know in a year, two years, ever how long. Y'all know how I usually end these videos. I come back, I do my final thoughts, I tell you what it sounded like, how the test went, all that type of stuff. But I'm doing something different today, and I'm asking you guys to tell me what you thought about these tests. What do you use? What do you recommend? Are you a CCA for life guy like me? Or are you an OFC guy for life like everybody else in the world? Uh, tell me what you use, what you recommend in the comments. Let me know what you think about the test and all this stuff. I realize that you guys are a pretty smart group in the comments. I see you in there making a lot of good suggestions, and I do appreciate each and every one of you. So, uh, yeah, man, that's why CCA is better than OFC. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, The Cardio Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, and Jesus Tires. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube. So if you want to help your boy out, check me out at patreon.com slash vega. <laughs> so you might wonder how can I tell if I have CCA or OFC wire there's two quick ways to know the first is the price if it's under 250 or three dollars a foot it's most likely not OFC if you see you know one ought for basically a dollar foot that's probably CCA the other way you can tell is weight so let's weigh these I got both sets of wires bundled up. Let's weigh them and see how much difference we actually have. It is hard to see, but it's 1.4 pounds. Let's put the OFC on. All right. We are 3.4 pounds on the OFC.